Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It has been a while. Um, I have had my ass handed to me by a severe case of, we'll say, man flu, and uh, heat wave in England, which is really kicking my ass as a, uh, a night worker. Uh, having to sleep in the middle of the day where it's hottest is just perfect. So, uh, yes, apologies for the later download, um, or upload, I should say. Um, yes, we are going to get right back on track now. I have somewhat lost a bit of my voice. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's hurting to talk. <clears throat> but we will manage. We'll get through because I have been dying to play this game. And uh, having to wait to play this game until I can record it is really annoying. Because I was just bedridden. All I wanted to do was play this game. But uh, no, I'm saving it for these... Uh, these uploads. So, um, <clears throat> last thing I believe is we went through all of our teammates and Tally has been accused of treason. And I guess we forgot to do that last time. Uh, where's the debriefing room? Back here. <clears throat> okay, so we'll just go and do this. But um, yes, Tally, uh, I think that's going to take our, our uh, importance next. That's going to be our priority. And what do you want now? Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Uh, okay, that's a bit out of the blue. <clears throat> um, Turians are the best military, so yeah, maybe they've got um, they've got some ships that can actually do some damage to them. Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, that's uh. <clears throat> that mean there's going to be Turians on board, though, because if the Turians took it out, then they've probably boarded it. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Would kind of prefer to work with them on this, but fair enough. Uh, how'd you hear about it? Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Are you the Shadow Broker? That's probably a stupid thing, but... Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Okay. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Yeah, sure. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Um... Oh, we're going now! Oh, shit, okay. I was gonna help Tally first, but okay. Um, <clears throat> well, we'll try and make her uh, feel included and we'll bring her on this team. Um, collectors. <clears throat> Zaid, I really haven't actually done much with. I think I've forgotten he's on the ship. Whoops. Um, Mordin would be good for collectors. Garrus, just a good soldier. Miranda would have some decent information. Grunt is just a tank. Jacob. I want to go Jack, but that does leave us pretty threadbare in terms of hit points. Um. Ow, oh, sod it. Let's go Jack. <clears throat> Let's go in my bay. Uh, I can't spend anything on... Him. I can't spend anything on her. I can, however. Uh, I don't think AI hacking is going to be much use. So when we find a Geth stronghold on board. So we'll go Quarium Machinist, level 3. <clears throat> and that's everyone. Okay. I wasn't prepared to sort of start this one, but uh, 
I was really going in for talent. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? They're good. Turians, incredibly intelligent militarily. Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. That's good. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. I think that's good. I hope that's good. I don't know why I like the fact that the Normandy has flashlights. <clears throat> I just wouldn't have thought that would be on a massive spaceship. Don't like the music. never seen a ship like this before. Looks like a giant insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your hardsuit computer. Okay. So we're inside the giant potato. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. Okay, that Perhaps makes a lot more sense. Colonists are there, if they're still alive. That makes a lot more sense, because the defense tower's definitely got a lot of shots in. Same containers as on Horizon. Only these are empty. It must have been horrible, trapped in these pods. Helpless. Completely at the mercy of the collectors. Hmm. <clears throat> Not liking the aesthetic here. This is uh, very bug-like. I know they flitter in on little wings, but what happened here? Was well, this just a pile of corpses? Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? They must have been used for testing. If they were a control group, they would have been discarded at the end of the experiment. A bad way to die. They didn't deserve this. You get what you get. Deserves got nothing to do with it. Keep it light, Jack. I mean, come on. <clears throat> God. Music is very eerie. They've they've really got the atmosphere in this. It's treating it more like a horror game. Start thinking I'm playing Dead Space. What's that? Collector technology, we'll have that. Medikit, we'll have that. Control terminal. Kind of want Jack's helmet, actually. I like the, the mouth breathing unit. That's a collector. That. Are you saying those bastards even experimented on one of their own? Edie. I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Why? Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad-strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. Oh, holy shit! They're the Protheans! Oh my god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers now. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic oh. rewriting. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Uh, I mean, double check the findings, Edie. That is huge! So the Protheans were massacred and then the ones that 
survived were employed and turned into these things. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster, but there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes, reduced heterochromatin structure, elimination of superfluous junk sequences. I mean, that is a horrible fate. The Reapers didn't wipe out the Protheans. They turned them into monsters and enslaved them. Still, they're working for the Reapers now, and we have to stop them. Wow, no okay. I'm not letting the Reapers turn me into some kind of <clears throat> fucked up bug thing. Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Shit, okay. So the Protheans are... Oh, hang on. Assault rifle training, shotgun training, sniper rifle training. Oh, do I earn another one of these? Um... <clears throat> assault rifle is more tempting because it's a bit of range and I don't really like using this submachine gun uh, yeah we'll go assault rifle just for mid range got a vindicator battle rifle I believe okay so the protheans shit are uh are actually the collectors, or vice versa. So the Reapers don't just extinguish you, they turn you into helpers to do the small menial tasks. Like the Keepers. So the Keepers will have been a previous race that they took and melted down and turned into this weird ass thing. I Right, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the burst fire. I'm not too keen on burst fire normally, but... Yeah, we'll keep that. Look, on the ceiling. More of those strange paths. Shit. Hundreds. I wonder how many have people in them. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pod, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Oh, shit. When the Turians shot the crap out of it, everyone in it died. So that's all the colonists. Not great. Now what's this? Collecting some nice bits and bobs going through. Same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. So if they only got one ship. And they've had an interest in me for two years. Protheans obviously like what I'm doing. They couldn't fill all those pods, even if they took every colonist in the terminus. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. Oh shit. Yeah. So they're going to turn us into the next, um, the next collectors, I guess. In the last cycle, the Protheans obviously impressed there, them. On the platform, looks like some kind of. They turned them into animal. helpers, and now we're, we're impressing the them. Well, I am. Something's wrong here. Edie. I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the <laughs> databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Oh, shit. Uh, that can't be good. It's like downloading a song on LimeWire back in the day. Yep, congratulations. Your computer has an STD. Status report. What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non-critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. 
There was movement. Okay, it was a trap. Fantastic. They lured us in here. But the Turians didn't hurt them at all. We need a little help here, Edie. I'm having trouble maintaining connection. There's someone else in the system. Control alt delete. Look at Jack accepting help from Tally there. Connection reestablished. Right. Okay. Okay. On Come on. Right. Okay, hello. Oh shit, it's one of those things. Okay, I regret the uh, choice of the burst fire now. If I must <clears throat> Oh, that ain't good. Get back and cover you. What I need is a semi. Wait! Stop hurting! Don't die! Pally, I did not say you could die! Get back in cover! Jack, good kill, thank you. Uh, yeah, sorry, I need uh, Tally back for this. Unity, come on, get your ass back up. If you could put your drone somewhere, that'd be great, Tally. Come on. Oh shit, more. You cannot hurt me. Shit. <laughs> well, that missed. Tally, send your drone over there, would you? Why are you dead again? Drone is more useful than you are. Oh my god. I don't have anything against barriers. Overload does not like barriers. I am unstoppable. You cannot resist. I can deal with armor. I think. Oh god, they're both dead. This is the first fucking fight! Okay, I'm going to assume I'm going to get Metagel back, so come on, back you come, ladies. Come on. Yeah, there's not much commentary going on here, because this is <laughs> a much harder fight than I thought it would be. I was expecting to go into a courtroom with Tally, and here I am. Okay. Come on, you. Oh, no, you're much harder than I thought. Die. Right. Down to the armor. Have we got any, uh, we have. Single shot. Rip a hole in him. Right. Come on, you. My god, these things are hardy. They've really taken barely any damage. Getting closer. Got him, okay. <clears throat> right. Well, that was a mess. Okay, where's that? Oh, that's the one I came in. Okay. Right. Well, sod those scions, scions, 
and sod those harbingers. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. Good work. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? Don't know what Tally's actually thinking of Edie. I found data but... that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. Awesome. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collector's rich source. It is unusual. Okay, why? What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us uh, into a trap? He betrayed us. That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. I knew Cerberus would screw me again. I'm gonna crush his head. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Okay, we better run. Let's move. And then we're going to shoot the elusive man in the head. Because sod that. So, uh, I've got the perfect team here. If I had Miranda and Jacob, they'd probably be like, uh, he's, he's, he probably has a reason. No, he doesn't have a reason. He is dead to us. Uh, on the right. I'm going to take some Metagel first. <clears throat> this is where they're all going to come out the walls, aren't they? Watch your right. Oh, hello. I need to do something to upgrade my shield. I think. Oh my god! No, 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 no! Get back under there! Okay, that harbinger guy—he's got that thing that can get me out of cover, which is a dick. Not that I'm saying a dick will get me out of cover, but you know. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I've got to be careful with that because anytime one of them is near me, as soon as I I go under cover without my shield, he can get me back up from it, and then they just kill me. Okay. <clears throat> Incoming. Uh. Okay. Well, Jack can make that guy just fly. Point. Problem is, I can't do shit to this guy. Yes. So fucking barriers. <clears throat> Good girl, Tally. We got dual drones out. There we go. This is true yeah, there we go. Two drones and an incinerate. That's what it needs. Jack. Help us out with this guy. Ping him in the air. You missed! So much for a biotic god, Jack. So glad there's not a time limit on this. Roleplay wise, there technically is the ship powering up. Wow, whoa, hey, 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 how you doing, buddy? One down, one down. I am unstoppable. We are the beginning, you are the end. Okay, send a drone out there. Now, the where are you? My attacks will tear you apart. Come on. Deploying combat drone. Ah. Neutralize yeah. Commander Shepard. The old drone and shoot in the head. Of this form. 
I was tempted to go sniper rifle. Putting the drone out to flush them out and then sniper rifle, but uh, you have to be good with a sniper rifle, and I am not, so that would just be me embarrassing myself, missing headshots left, right, and center. Oh, Medigel, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Got that one. Keep going this way. Good. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. Okay. Wait. What? What? Why do I need to heal, Jack? Oh, sod off. Oh shit. Hey, Jack. Where's Jack? I have lost a. Is Jack out there? No, she's up there. Jack has not come with us. <clears throat> ah, okay. Um, yeah, Tally, I'm going to need you on duty with them. I can't go back up. Shit. I am trapped. Oh my god, I am not prepared. Ah. Ah, fuck you. Oh, I wish I could tell Tally to just stick to the... Um... The husks. We need to try something else. Oh shit, fuck off. I have nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. That nah man. Okay. That was yeah, I think I might have panicked. So Jack, hey you're with us now. Cool. Nice of you to join us. Okay. Let's try and get some early shots in. Uh, Jack, I want you on shotgun duty. You know what? Actually, I'll have both of you on shotgun duty. Just get rid of the little things that are following me. And I can hopefully put some dents in this thing. Good. Right, okay. Oh my god. Just melts your shields immediately. Got it? Oh shit, it's coming up here. It's coming up here. I mean, there's not really much else I can do. I've got to run past it. I'm not going to run past it then. Okay. Round three. Uh, I guess try and get into the actual room. We can make it hunker down a little bit earlier. <clears throat> right, so now we're in the room. And now I'm just going to die by lots of different things. Come on. No, no, that's not good. Tally just died. No, that's not good. Uh, Unity, bring it all back up. I have not got any more missiles. That ain't good. Uh, when <laughs> I'm actually going to need the light machine gun now because it's just rapid fire hitting. I don't really have time to aim as such now. This is all going to be about dodging. The game now is to try and just pepper it. A little bit like the uh, what we couldn't do with the giant death camel. Oh my god, I'm sure there's probably a really easy way of doing this and I'm making a meal of it. Come on. Okay, it's hunkering down. That's fine. Have we got any ads? We don't. We've cleared all the ads. Come on. This should soften them up. Try and get rid of the barrier as much as possible. Uh, 
Come on, we got this. Yes. Uh, okay, that can go die. Oh, I never want to meet one of them again. Uh, okay. Where are we going? Far side of the room, Edie said. Oh, lovely. Edie, we've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands through firewall 7164. Is that? Oh, we can go through here. Cool. I have lovely. Opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. That's yeah, fine, man. thank you. That's Just talk me through this. Close to the end. Can I jump down there? Nope, okay. Edie needs to be my rally driver here. You need to be calling out left and right. This might be useful. Yep, cool, we'll loot along the way. Hello. That's fluttering. Hello, okay. Hide, hide. Uh, Jack, ping him up. There we go, nice. Just in case there's an edge there or a cliff of some sort, maybe we can uh, knock him off and insta kill. Uh, come on. We try and kill this thing before it hits me out of cover. We're at a bit too much range. Oh good, they've both got pistols anyway, that's fine. I was just going to make sure they didn't have shotguns out. Ah. Hello. Can we move around there, we are moving around there, that's a mistake. Hello. Please don't kill me. Don't assume control, that's the worst thing you could do right now. Relinquish control, relinquish control. It is very fragile, so stop breaking it. Okay, I'm on fire, but I'm alive. I am going to kill the elusive man for this. He is solely responsible. Oh, I am low on health. Hide. Direct intervention is no, it's not. I was just about to kill you. Assuming direct control. Face your annihilation. Come on, die. Right, I'll be oh shit, another one of these things. Hopefully it's the only thing here, so it should be a little bit easier. Come on, get over there. Okay, we seem to be doing alright. As long as it's just the only thing there, it's fine. It's when it's basically acting as artillery. Ooh, he says. <clears throat> yeah, when it's acting as artillery, when you've got the other hard hitters around. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah I, I know, Joker. Yeah. Go away, go away. I don't have the capabilities to deal with all of these. Oh, with B, shit. Okay, Jack, this is what you're here for. Shockwave. Yes. Good job. Okay, run, 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 you crazy bastard, run. I can't do anything, they're all hitting me. Oh my god. Husks, I fucking hate them. In that one moment, I should have taken shotgun training. Come on. Fucking die. Is there like an unlimited amount of them? Oh man. I'm... Yeah, come on. Shockwave and shotgun. Come on, Jack. <laughs> Goodbye. 
<laughs> okay, so I hate husks. Hey, where are the others? Get your asses over here! Running away. I'm an engineer, not a tank. Oh, yes! Time, Commander. We have to go. Yes, go! Run! You heard the man. Everybody onto the Normandy. Move! Strap in, people! I'm gonna make them work for it this time. Come on, man. Anywhere that's not here. Very well. Engage Mass Effect Core. Woohoo. Okay. Did we get what we wanted? We picked up a, a, a virus. Hopefully, we got rid of it. Gathered vital intel regarding Collectors and Omega-4 Relay. With Shepard's escape, Harbinger knows our true capabilities and will have to adopt new tactics. We'll have to be careful as Harbinger's information network may rival Cerberus or the Shadow Brokers. Also appears impossible to block his ability to possess minions. Edie's work was exceptional, however proving value of a shackled AI. Okay, true, he'll have to adopt new tactics, but how smart is it showing him our ace in the hole this early. What if he can adapt to it? Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him. Too. Yeah, I do. Shepard. Looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. The hell is going on, man? Come on. Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. Act like we nothing's happening. Information on the Omega 4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. Yeah, but why couldn't you have just told me? Like, tell me and... You know, it would be a lot safer, and I'd have probably packed some more guns. You could have told me the plan. You say I'm important, but you sure try hard to get me killed. Yeah. I needed the Collectors to believe they had the upper hand. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. Don't butter me up. Never again. You are not going to send me to die and then just go, Ah, oh, I, I, I had faith in you? You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. Not it's wrong. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful with the Collectors and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. <laughs> Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. A little late for that info... Well, no, I mean... If she's only just worked it out, I mean, I barely got out of there alive. I wouldn't have been able to go and pick up whatever an IFF is. How do we get one? I'm guessing you have a plan. We have a science team working on a derelict Reaper right now. I need you to go and pick up its IFF. Like, I, you know, IFF, uh, I can't remember what the I stands for, but friend and foe. It's, like, what is it? 
is it code? Is it just downloading some code on a hard drive? Or is it like a little block? Like a black box that you put in your, your ship or your truck cab or something that records where you're going. Um, I mean, where are we just going to find a reaper? Where did you find a derelict reaper? An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. Okay. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. So they basically made like a mass relay and then fired it. Like a rail gun, like I said. And they killed a reaper with it. I mean, I like it. Uh, brown dwarf is the... Oh, my... Astronomy isn't the best. Uh, I think it's uh, an unstable sun. Aren't brown dwarves basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds oh, okay. and extremely high temperatures. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of want to know more about the, the weapon that disabled the Reaper. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I mean, I kind of like the fact that they actually one-shotted a Reaper. Should probably try and look into it. Um, yeah, another derelict ship. Let me guess, it's not actually derelict. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie. Tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna course, tell Shepard. them that you're scum. And yeah, we can't trust a thing out of your mouth. I mean, I liked I liked it when it when he said, "Information's your game. That's all you've got." So the elusive and man if I can't trust that, that, could have fooled me. Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. I I believe that he could have told us. His, his excuse of, oh, they could have been tipped off in many different ways. We wouldn't have gone in any different. It just would have been a mentality aspect. Uh, maybe would have gone with more people or different weapons or just an idea of rather than just a quick extraction. It was going to be a fight to the death. We were still a heavily armed squad going in. So it wouldn't have looked any different. He tries something like that again and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie. Are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. <laughs> um, can't be right. <laughs> yeah. Again, my astronomy ain't great, but I'm guessing the bit in the middle is not the safest place to be. Check ED systems, she's quite clearly glitching. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. Uh, I guess Sovereign did. The Reapers probably do. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? 
No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. So we're the looking for a... The conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. So it's kind of like a GPS thing, like uh, if you've got that IFF then you put it into the sat-nav and it takes you to the safe spot. Whereas if you don't have it, you're kind of eyeballing it and as she said, a drift of several thousand kilometers is natural. Um, I mean, it's important. Let's let's go and get it. This thing is our best shot at getting through the Omega-4 relay. We have to try. It's a derelict Reaper. What if the Collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. Um... Yeah, I mean... We'll, we'll get a couple more people, I think. But... I mean, getting the IFF is going to be pretty damn important. We may as well get it sooner rather than later. Building a team only gets us so far. If we want to stop the Collectors, we need to get that IFF. That means checking out the Derelict Reaper as soon as possible. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Yeah, I mean... We'll, we'll get the people before we actually go through the Omega-4 Relay, 100%. But there's no harm in getting the IFF now. And then being able to work on it, I guess. Look at it a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, right, let's have a quick go through. Plus 13 Renegade? Ow, my pride. Commander, can I help you with something? Uh, let's talk, man. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. <sighs> Ship needs a bar, hell yes. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. Okay, that's I true. can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Am I the good guy? Yeah, I mean... Work on your attitude, that's a bit harsh. I wouldn't know. I'm, I, I genu genuinely don't see myself as a good guy. I see myself as a ruthless... The guy that will not be painted well in the history books, but will save people. I'm not trying to be a good guy. I just have a job to do. It's harder for me to separate the two. But you make the big calls. Glad it's not my job. Yeah. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. Oh, good talking to you. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I am pretty much the guy that's going to make the sacrifice calls, and you guys, my team, are going to be the uh, the people that are the good guys. Uh, let's see what we got here. I guess I can start looking at assault rifle stuff now. Uh, definitely want heavy pistol stuff. AP heavy pistol squad bonus, 50% damage, hell yeah. SMG shield piercing. Armor upgrades. Got any tech damage, hell yeah. Let's get the tech stuff up, that's all my stuff. Tech cooldowns. Tech duration. 20% duration on my drone. Blinky! Blinky gets powered up. We've got Emergency Shielding, Unity Restores Squad Member Shields to full strength. Yes, I use Unity a lot, because I suck. So, Redundant Field Generator. Sometimes when Shepard's shields go down, they are instantly restored. My shields go down a lot, so yes. Hard Shields. Need one more shield upgrade. Shepard Shields take 20% less damage. Okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, damage Protection. Hell yeah. We'll get that. And that means I can get hard shields. Cool! That means I am basically a uh, big old tank now. And I still need to get a load of these as well. Platinum, platinum, palladium. Uh, prototypes. Inferno armor, a bit of uh, Iron Man there. 
yeah, there's a whole load of uh, different things there. One more heavy weapon ammo thing. Okay, <clears throat> I mean that's quite a lot of different uh, power-ups I've got. So, Secrakelly, what's up? You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. Are you worried about me? You do care. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. You're Edie my secretary. You if she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. <laughs> I, I mean... I, see, it's a bit of a risk here, because I'm asking her for a hug, and the girl I'm courting is a fucking psychopath who will probably rip your head off if she catches you hugging me. So the risk is on you, not me? I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Oh, shit. There isn't. I mean, I didn't realize she was a romance option. The thing is, I, I want to explore these, but I don't want to push it so far that I end up getting locked in with her. Ah, oh, fuck it. Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? Every great decision was prefixed with fuck it. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Lead the way. Let's have dinner. Oh god, they're gossiping straight away. We're just having dinner. Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Thank you, Shepard. Is that it? We just chatted? Okay. I noticed the fish tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish while you're away. Uh, yes? I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Anyway, what's up? Do I need to feed my fish? Well, I don't now, obviously. Is there but... anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything Good. else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, you've received a new message. I'll in the get terminal. to you in a minute. I want to check my room. Yeah, my fish are fine. I can feed the fish. No reason they can't be chubby fish. Right, well, let's check my messages up here for a change. There are no new messages. Kelly, you suck so much. Literally offering to do everything I don't need you to do. I'll feed your fish. They don't need feeding. You have new messages. I have no new messages. You just sit there and... I'm calling it now. She's actually a spy. She's crap at her job. And she's, she's the bad guy. Hey. Let's talk about us, Jack. We need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. I just... You know what it's like to think you're alone and find out you're not? Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. <laughs> you see, in my head, Jack would be that sort of banter, that sort of... If you see it written down, it looks incredibly harsh, but actually, if you're joking, you can just be like, oh, fuck you. Just... You're taking too long can be like a, hey, come on, come on, you're taking too long. It's just, let's just play, let's just banter, give, you know, give as good as you get sort of thing. But I don't think the game's going to do that. So take your time. If you need to think, I can wait for a while. <laughs> for a while. Just... This is so strange for me, and you just keep pushing. What am I supposed to do with that? You're weird, Shepard. That kind of gets me off. <laughs> You're weird. I'm sexually attracted to weird. What's your sexual preference, weird? Kenneth, do you think we'll make it through this? Of course we will, Gabby. I mean, as long as we take down the Collectors, it's all worth it. Even if we don't make it. Don't even think that. We'll make it through. We will make it through, guys. We will. 
What can we do for you, Commander? Can you set up okay down here? Danny. Outside of those T6 FBA. I still haven't bought them. them. The Anything else? Carry on. Well do, Commander. I should really go and buy them next time I'm in Omega. And... We have time. Oh I'm yes, yes, yes. I'll get back to you, Tally. We will Talk go and do that right now, because that's what I wanted to do. So, um, Garrus, uh, yeah, okay. We'll go and do that now, <clears throat> and then I think we'll maybe do the IFF. Reaper IFF. To pass through the Omega-4 relay safely, the Normandy will need a Reaper-designed Identify friend-foe device. One of those, one of these Reaper IFFs may be found on a derelict Reaper hulk, hulk being investigated by Cerberus. Yeah, so it, may, it makes sense to go and get that. However, Tally is being accused of treason, and that is not on at all. So I do actually need some materials. <clears throat> so we're just going to have a very quick look to see if there's any rich planets. See if we can get some palladium and paladin. Uh, paladin? Playing too much D&D. Uh, platinum. Oh, and Ezo apparently. <clears throat> we'll have some Ezo. Oh, yes. Probe away. Not many planets that actually have Ezo. Ezo is the thing that gives you biotics, isn't it? So realistically, we should be going to, like, Asari worlds. Because isn't it the whole point that every single Asari has biotics? Because their planets have Ezo in abundance. So if it's so sort of deeply ingrained in their home planets, then surely they can lend us a rock or so. Oh yeah. Probe launched. So if I remember the first game, actually, it was Caden that said that uh, there was sort of uh, Ezo explosions where Ezo rained down on uh, things and they were like oh it's uh, you know it's an accident and you have been accidentally exposed you're now a biotic but then you got the implants as well so I don't know whether the implants are the things that give you the uh, biotics or whether they're the things that kind of help you control the biotics <clears throat> Uh, we'll just do this one. Small ones usually have a lot of resources on them. Yes, they do. Yeah, we'll just do this one. <clears throat> See if we can get some more uh, upgrades. Need to heal my face so that I'm all shiny and pretty again. Also, because having a shepherd whose face is just falling apart is not going to do well for my charisma. Probe away. Probe launched. Lots of iridium. Probe away. There we go. Right. Probe launched. <clears throat> that should take us down to good. Oh, there we go. Lots of pattern. Okay. <clears throat> that concludes today's exciting scanning of planets. We'll just get some probes here. Oh, that's going to be really rich, so... It's small. Yeah, we'll do this one as well. You can always skip forward three or four minutes if you don't want to watch it. I need upgrades. Probe away. Launching probe. Is it going to be like the um <clears throat> the what was it the collection of the Turian medallions? Probe launched. Uh, the matriarch's writings, and there was uh, some Salarian stuff, mummified probe Salarians. Away. Where I spent fucking ages collecting all of them and nothing happened. 
I was a little bit annoyed at. But, uh... There you go, moderate. See if there's one more spike. That's a bit spiky. Probe launched. Right. At 100%. No, we're 80%, but sod it. <clears throat> sod it, apparently, is the term of the day. So, we will go to help tally. Because I want my girl off the hook, and a courtroom drama is just what we need today. Okay, that's cool. Two sons. And the migrant fleet. A fleet of 50,000 craft. 50,000. That is insane. Holding over 17 million quarians. The migrant fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. Though quarians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside the quarian ships. Yeah, that's true. They must protect... Can they go around their own ships without their masks? Can they set up little bubbles where they're safe? If so, I'll be kept far away from them, but, uh... 50,000 ships. That is insane. Uh, okay, tally. <clears throat> we got a courtroom drama going on here, so no to Zaid. Mordin, maybe a little bit too direct, a little bit too hyperactive. Garrus, friend of Tally's, there to support. Miranda is Cerberus, and Cerberus and Quarians don't like each other. Grunt will eat one of them, I guess. Jacob, eh, again Cerberus. Uh, Jack, I mean, you'll just rip apart a ship because it'll be fun. And Kasumi, I don't know much about Kasumi, so it's going to have to be Garrus. Going to be Garrus. <clears throat> Let's bring him for moral support. Um, I mean, I don't think it's really going to matter for this. AI hacking really hasn't been any use. So we'll go overload and we'll leave us with one spare. Uh, tally gets nothing and uh, I like concussive shot. So concussive shot and then if you can knock down... High explosive charge gives your shot an impact radius large enough to knock down multiple enemies or one big ass enemy. Uh, we'll have multiple because we seem to be fighting groups. So, uh, yeah, it seems to be quite good. Uh, I actually want to change from that to the Avenger because I like a bit of auto fire. Uh, auto fire, but a little bit more meaty than the submachine gun, which is just a bit light and uh, don't really like it. In a dream world, I'll get something heavier and semi-automatic. So I might have to shop around for some assault rifles a little bit later on. Garrus, you can keep the Indi uh, Vindicator, Incisor. Yep, you're fine. Okay. Pour myself a little bit more drink. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged to Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach hey. exterior docking cradle 17. I'll take offence to that. I'd like to think we keep it a bit clean. Alright, there's a pile of clothes in the corner. But... Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. What's with the guns? Uh, yeah, I'm Commander, not Captain. Uh, I am not... No, it's Captain Anderson, isn't it? It's, uh... Yeah, I'm just the Commander of a ship. I never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military oh. at all. Yeah, that's true. You're the Commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Oh. Keep us alive. 
It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. Cool. Uh, I am, however, very squishy, so grunt is actually between me and harm. But we'll... yeah, 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 that's fine. Um, we owe Tally a very great deal and we came to help, but... I want to know why Tally's on trial. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, and the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active get aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You've been sending geth? You sent geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Right. <clears throat> okay, Tally, I'm not happy with the fact that you've been sending Geth back. Um, hmm. Okay. I you guess. Speak with Admiral Rath. She's waiting for you up ahead. So, yeah, you're confined to this ship. I can't believe they're charging Tally Zora with such a thing. I don't want to have to fight my way out of here. Tally Zora can't even get a Quarian captain to stand for her. She's as good as convicted. But who is a... Was it Tally Zora Vas Nima? So is the captain of the Nima here? Tally Zora Vas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Vas Normandy? Auntie Ron! Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Uh, that voice actress is very famous and has been in a lot of things, and I can't remember her name. <clears throat> Pretty sure she was in an episode of House. The second to last ever episode of House, I believe. I think she's a an artist of some sort. Uh, uh, one of those weird artists that do stupid things. <laughs> no offence. Um, so, why does her name matter? Well, no, I, I want to ask that for the law, but I, names do matter to these people because their surname is the ship they're on. But she's only working with me. I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. Wow, okay. Um, are you part of the trial, or are you a bit too friendly with her? You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. Yeah. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tally. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll head in. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed, she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? I'm going to get to be a defense attorney. Oh my god, this is going to be Phoenix right? Um, <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Uh, no, I'm honored. Hell yeah, I'll, I'll defend her. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. Actually excited I about this. ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promise that I would not delay you. 
I hope there's going to be like renegade interrupts of OBJECTION! Oh. Nice little garden bit in a ship. I see Garrus is wearing his best armour for court. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. The accused Talia Zora of Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Talia crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Talia's captain, Shepard must stay. <laughs> <clears throat> Objection withdrawn. You've been loopholed. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Hell yeah. Okay, there's two ways of being a defense attorney. You either get the jury on your side, or... You just become an overwhelming force in the courtroom. But we're going to take this bit by bit, okay? So, it's my pleasure. It is my pleasure to represent her. And that's it. Or, we start our defense for her. And we start strong with, look at her record. She has done this and this and this and this. And we've basically started defending her immediately. I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Start well strong. Said, Shepard. None of us <clears throat> should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? Ah, you see, it did, this is more guesswork. I want to say she couldn't have done this. She's innocent. I mean, they're kind of the same thing, but I actually don't know. Unless I've missed something that I should have picked up on. Uh, we'll, rather than just boldly saying innocent, we'll go with she couldn't have done How this. How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units. Only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What? What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? What oh, the hell? You've got a lot of fucking no I telling her that in the middle of a courtroom. Fuck off. Also, in amongst my rage, that I believe that um Admiral uh Zahn, was it? Jean? Um, I'm pretty sure that's the Spider-Woman from Diablo 3 <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah, she's uh, quite a big voice actress. I thought Quarians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Damn right. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. Yeah, the fuck the courtroom. The course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you boshtet! You intend to retake the Alarai from Bosh the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. We must for Tally's sake. Yes. I don't want to say we must for Tally's sake, because that makes it seem like we're trying to go, oh, if we do it, we're, you know, she's innocent. So we'll just go, yeah, we're going to take it. 
I'm here to help, and I'm good at killing Geth. <laughs> well, that then too. it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alorai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Wow. Okay. Sure. Fucking hell, I thought they were... Yeah, like Thank I said, I thought they were family. to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Uh, I mean, are you alright? Like, talk to me, girl. What, how are you thinking? Because I was getting ready to object and to, to loophole my way into different situations. And now I'm ruining the decision not to pick AI hacking. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I I don't know. He he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. No. I just don't know, Shepard, and I need to find out. He's an admiral. Like, he's, he's gonna have some tricks up his sleeve. He's probably pretty handy. He's probably got a drone. Should we talk to people? Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? Probably hurry, we? can talk we? with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Okay, well, come on. Let's let's see if we let's can. Go. We'll have a chat with a few people, right. maybe. The sooner we get to the <clears> other <throat> the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Oh, lovely. understood. Okay. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Okay. Um. So, Vitor! Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing Geth. Tally's order is guilty. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? I... Shepard is here to yeah. help me with my trial. Oh, yes, I uh, heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, oh. but you helped me. Oh, he's precious. I hope you didn't do it. I didn't, Vitor. Oh, okay then. I believe you. I love him. Um, will you speak for Tally? I don't think you... I mean, do you know anything? Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Okay. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We hey. both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. Social anxiety, it's a real thing. Uh, yeah, do you have any more information? Do you remember anything else about the collectors? Anything at all? Oh, collectors. Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... That's all good. Come back. Don't worry about it's it, man. Okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. All right. I hope you feel better, man. Come on. Take care of yourself, Vitor. Not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane. I know. I yeah. Like... But thank you, Commander. It's only because of your help that I've come this far. I probably wouldn't have mentioned the same thing at all, seeing as he clearly is struggling with it a little bit. Shepard spoke well to the Admirals. Yes, yes I did. But Cal Rieger... Cal Rieger. My main marine Shepherd, man. Shepard, Talizora. Good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the son on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. I love you. You are the greatest. Uh, what are you here for, though? I mean, is this where you are now? What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Tali Zora. I've served with her, and she deserves better than what she's getting. Hell yeah. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Uh, can you talk to them? Can you help a little bit more? Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? 
Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. Nice. You did the right thing. Thank you. Hell yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the dark energy thing, the aging sun. Any more information about that? It's kind of a big deal. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. <laughs> is this a big problem? Yeah! Uh, did the Geth do this? Is that is that a technology they have? Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. It's true. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. Inefficient to use as a weapon. Unless the goal is to just render it unusable. Like, that's that's more of a destruction path than, than uh, any form of kind of indoctrination or anything. It's not very Reaper-like. Don't know. Um, is this a big problem? What yeah. does that dark energy build-up mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the yeah. scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated, some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. <laughs> uh, how you doing, man? You got shot in the stomach last time I saw you. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. Fighting does seem pretty risky. I mean, a gunshot wound. I mean, a gunshot wound and only out for a week. That's really not that bad, regardless of race. But With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. Yeah. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly fast. I can only imagine it in like a a trench warfare situation. <clears throat> you know, it's it's easy to bring a bunch of antibiotics when you got twelve, twenty-two, whatever. Um people going in on a, a select mission as proper strike ops thing but hundreds thousands in trench warfare on a planet <clears throat> nah that is going to be a uh, like you said an ugly situation we should get going good luck on the holler right stay safe out there right well we have admiral zen and we got a couple more people i think to talk to <clears throat> but I'm uh, actually not sure exactly how much space I've got left on this laptop I uh, don't want it running out of space as I'm recording the uh, videos I forgot to transfer a load over to, over to my hard drive so uh, we will wrap it up there for today with uh, yeah I was not expecting this mission to go this way I was also not expecting to get a uh, another mission from the uh, the elusive man that was a bit of a shock and uh, an unpleasant mission with the floaty ufo things second time i've come across them and both times i've hated it and died to it so uh yeah it's not been too bad but we will start next episode by i'm guessing picking up some more information about these admirals um pick up a bit of information now when they think we're gonna die and then when we come back we can use it against them I think. I'm hoping. I don't know. But <clears throat> I hope everyone is okay. I hope everyone's having a great week. Stay safe, everyone, please. And uh, yeah, I'll hopefully get another video much, much quicker than this one came up.
but uh, thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you have a fantastic se season, a week, session, something like that. I'm tired. So yes, have a good one guys. Take care.